Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Does Inversion Mean in Physics? Inversion uh, typically means a mathematical type of operation, but it can also mean other types of things in physics. So, if we consider the most basic definition, uh, when you invert a function, what you're doing is you take some function, some dependent variable that depends on some independent variable, like x, and you want to uh, be able to perform mathematical operations such that you end up with your independent variable as the dependent variable, and your dependent variable as the independent variable. As an example, we can consider y is equal to ax cubed plus b, so, with a little bit of algebra, we bring b over to the other side, divide both sides by a, and then finally take the cube root of both sides, and we see here that the b's cancel out, the a's cancel out, and then the cube root cancels out with the cube in the x. So on one side of the equation, we have x, and on the other side, we're left with the cube root of y minus b divided a. So now we have x as a function of y, and so I've inverted the system. Another type of inversion that uh, one can come across in physics is that which involves lasers. So the way a laser works, you'll have some two-level systems such as a quantum dot or an atom where you have at least two levels. You have a ground state and an excited electronic state and then you have a photon and if the photon is absorbed by the atom, if the frequency frequencies match, then you can bump up the energy of the atom from the ground state to an excited state. And population inversion occurs when you have more states in more atoms in the excited state than you do in the ground state. So this is a type of inversion that one comes across in physics involving uh, optical mechanics. So you have a population inversion. Initially you started out with most of the atoms in the ground state, and then this is inverted. You have most of the atoms of the two-level systems in the excited state. A third type of inversion uh, appears in particle physics. There's a symmetry operator known as the parity operator, and it's sometimes referred to as parity inversion. And essentially what this parity operator does is you can uh, apply this operator to quantum states and what it does is inverts the sign of the spatial coordinates uh, for a wave function that is described in terms of uh, space. So in three dimensions, the parity operator, it takes a three-dimensional vector, x, y, z, and when you apply the operator, you end up with negative x, negative y, and negative c. So if there is a parity symmetry in the system or in the set of particles, then the result of the wave function will be invariant, meaning it won't change due to the application of this parity operator. In other words, going in the negative x and y and z direction will get you the same result as going in the positive direction. So that's parity inversion, and we have the two other types of inversions that are uh, typically encountered in physics. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is What Does Inversion Mean in Physics?